UFC 268 this Saturday night, Madison Square Garden. It is a pleasure to welcome the best pound for, I could tell you this list or that list if you have eyes, that's the best pound for pound fighter in the game. Welterweight champion, Kamaru Usman Champ, thank you very much for joining the show today. Thank you for having me, Max. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure, likewise. Um, all right, so you got a rematch with Colby Covington. Um, you stopped him, 50 seconds left to go in the fight, UFC 245. Boy, he's complained about that loudly since then. Why do you think? Of course, uh, everybody knows that when you fight me, that's when you get paid the big bucks. The challenge for the title, that's when you make the most money that you could possibly make. So, of course, everyone wants to campaign for that. There's, a, there's, there's no shortage of a long list of everyone who wants their chance to be able to fight me. So, you know, now I've, uh, I've picked his number. So, Saturday night, I go in there and I, I shut him up once again. Yeah, you seem to be beating everybody twice in the welterweight division. Um, he said, but he has been saying that you've been avoiding the rematch, right? What, how, what's your response to that? Uh, exactly. Um, I've gone through everyone once. And now, at this point, it's time for me to set myself and my family up for what, what's going to make sense for us, future, down the line. And, of course, I want the biggest and baddest and scariest dude there, but also what's going to pay off financially. I mean, this guy wasn't doing anything. While he was sitting at home waiting for me to call his number, I was out there doing work. I was out there running through guys and putting them to sleep. And this Saturday night, he will be no different. But we know at this level of the sport, the guy, and you look like the invincible guy right now, that it's always been closer than the fans realize. Top fighters are top fighters. Whatever you think about Covington, he landed 143 shots against you. You're not usually, you've never been struck nearly that many times. How is he able to do it? What do you fix for the rematch? No, I think um, a big thing that played a part in that fight is me wanting to fight him the way that I wanted to fight him. I think in that fight, just with all the animosity and everything that was built up, the world would have not been satisfied if I hadn't went in there and slugged it out with him like that. You know, for a moment, I kind of threw strategy out of the window, and I wanted to bang with him. I wanted him to know that mano y mano on his best day, that he doesn't measure up. And that's what it was. I told everyone that I was going to punish him for 24 minutes, and I was going to put him away. And that's I've, exactly what I did. I've always thought that the most effective fighting style in the UFC is the guy who starts with a wrestling or a BJJ background, right? Their, their basis is on the ground. And then they build from the ground up and eventually learn to strike. That's what you've done. You went from wrestler to, uh-oh, he can also beat you up standing up like Masvidal. He's, you're, he's flying your head, who's basically a boxer, standing up. How did you make that transformation? I mean, it took years. It took time. Um, coming in, I understood that it wasn't just a sprint. It was going to be a marathon. I had a good enough foundation, and I had the great coaching to where I learned, of course, I can take you down and I can defend, defend any takedowns. What people don't realize is if you, every time you see a street fight or if you see a fight, there's three positions a fight could be in. Either you can both be standing, throwing punches at each other, or one guy could be on top of you beating you up, or you can be on top. So right there, two-thirds of a fight starts on the ground. So I've already got that covered. 67%, I'm already ahead of the curve. So now taking my time to really understand the basis of how to punch and kick was, you know, it took some time, but now I'm in a place where I can do it and I can do it well. i got a little bit over a minute. i got to cover some ground with you. I'm, I'm going to go by, like, what's it feel like to fight at Madison Square Garden? It's a big thrill and da-da-da. It's an honor and bringing it back. We know, we know, we know. This is what I want to know because I've been saying it forever. I know you and Adesanya are buddies, right? And I'm not asking you to look past the fight, but I'm asking him a little bit. I'm not, I don't mean you to, for you to lose focus, but you're so dominant in terms of the results so far at welterweight. When I think about what would really capture the public's imagination, I think if Khabib ever came out of retirement, there's one, like the two unbeatable wrestling guys who can now strike, or if you moved up, because you'd be giving up some size and fought your buddy Adesanya. Can you comment on either of those matchups? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I, t I tell you what I think would really get the people going and that what would make more sense is when have you ever seen the two pound-for-pound pound fighters in the world in their respective sports, both in their respective prime, go at it? Name a time. Who are you talking about now? Who is the pound-for-pound pound best boxer in the world right now? Uh, I mean, Canelo, are you talking about? That's the money fight, too. I, I, it's not about money. It's about... You want to box Canelo. It's about... What gets me out of bed? What gets me scared? You want to box to get Canelo? in that gym, Max? You're gonna box Canelo. 
Yo. I mean, I know for the money. I want you that want challenge. Box, Canelo? I want the what challenge. What about Adesanya? I need you to comment on Adesanya before we get Adesanya, out of here. Adesanya, Adesanya is my guy. That's something that me and him have to discuss. There's a difference between fighting and competing. If me and him decide we want to compete and the UFC is throwing $100 million at us, <laughs> then we'll make it happen. Kamaro Usman, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen him fight this Saturday, don't miss it. It's the best pound-for-pound -pound mixed martial artist in the world. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.